MGM Resorts has filed a lawsuit against the victims of last year's mass shooting that took place during an outdoor concert. I saw this, I saw this article and I'm thinking, where, where do you go from here? Why does MGM think it's a good idea to sue the families of people who lost somebody? Why, why, how is this a good idea? T t give me your best spin on it because I've been practicing law for 35 <laughs> years and I can't find the spin that seems to work for MGM. What's happening here is that you've got these, basically these scumbag lawyers for MGM who say you are looking at a ton of liability here. You know, you've got the issue of you, you gave this guy who did the shooting a free pass. You let him use your service elevators. You didn't question him. You let him stay locked in his room for a week without checking on him. So here's what we do. Let's sue them first. Let's go ahead and make that happen. Say that their claims are baseless and you MGM have no liability whatsoever. And even though we know that this is a losing argument, what it's going to do is it's going to bleed these people dry. You know, I hate to use that phrase here for mass shooting survivors, but that's what it is. They want to prolong the suffering, perhaps make some of them drop out of the other lawsuit because they can't afford to defend themselves against these massive suits coming from a giant like MGM that could afford to have lawyers all day long okay. every day. Okay, so the predicate is that the people bringing the case, the lawyers bringing the case are doing something wrong because they're bringing the case. That's where it starts, yeah. correct? And that the clients are doing something wrong because they're allowing these lawyers to bring the case. Uh, th this to me, if I'm trying this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this lawsuit part of the punitive damages. I'm going to say not only do not only do we have a case where these companies uh, where, where these companies were responsible for these deaths because of their negligence, because they clearly understood what was happening, failed to do what they should have done to protect the public. They were told that this this was a problem ahead of time. You know, they, they had plenty of notice of these kinds of problems. And so, so the, the, the mother of a child who's killed there brings the lawsuit. The case takes place, the trial takes place, and then comes something called punitive damages. Most of the time, punitive damages is the second phase of a trial. And when that punitive damage is decided, you're able to determine, you're able to look at what's the conduct the overall conduct of the people I'm suing, MGM. What is their conduct? So their conduct in this situation is so bad, not only have they been responsible for the death of these, these people, but now they're suing the people trying to get their money back. There's no jury on earth. There, I, I, I gotta tell you, there's no jury on earth that is not going to take this absurd step that's made by MGM and make them suffer in punitive damages. I mean, do you, you agree with that? Unless I'm missing something here. No, 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 hundred percent. And this, look, you know, 58 people died. You had over a thousand injured. Um, I actually had a good friend of mine who was there. She was at this concert. She fled, you know, she said, you, you, you ran between the shots. When you stopped hearing the gunfire, you, you got up and ran. And as soon as you heard it again, you had to dive underneath or behind whatever it was. She wasn't hit. She was, she was safe. She survived. She was okay. But she still will talk from time to time because it, it, there's a PTSD to it. Yeah, it comes no back. Question. You, you have these nightmares. That's not going to go away. Yeah. And now the people who have filed this lawsuit are going to deal with not just the horrifying memories, not just the loss of the family, the loss of everybody else, the law, you know, or, or the fact that you got shot and you live now with a permanent disability or physical pain every second of your life. Now yeah. they deal with this. Let, let me tell you, I'm, I'm going to take it this far. MGM, the, 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 sh the shareholders for MGM should sue the lawyers who made this decision to bring this lawsuit. They should sue them for malpractice because the, in the, in the, 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 the amount of malpractice that takes place here is going to be determined at the punitive damage phase because MGM is going to be punished for this move. And then these idiot lawyers that represent MGM have got to sit in a room and they've got to understand that the amount of that punitive damages, which will be in the, uh, it'll, it'll be in the billions. 
the amount of that punitive damages is what they're responsible for their, for their malpractice. That's the way I see this case. We'll watch it develop. A new environmental lawsuit has popped up in an attempt to stop the administration from selling off more of Gulf of Mexico for oil drilling. Okay. All right. So here we are. We live on the Gulf of Mexico in Pensacola, Florida. We've, we've seen what happens with BP. We have an entire ecosystem absolutely devastated that really hasn't recovered. You know, we, the best that we want to put a spin on it, it's recovered. Our tourism is an all-time high. We're doing great. We're back. But if you go offshore far enough, you still see the remnants of this disaster. What's your take? Exactly. You know, it, it, it never ceases to amaze me when we see the federal government, and we saw it during the Obama years. This is not something new. Well, we saw it with Bush, we saw it with Clinton, we see it with Obama. That we come through this massive disaster and we learn nothing from it. We're talking about 78 million additional acres that are up for lease right now. And who put them up for lease? The Trump administration? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is uh, Ryan Zinke, uh, Department of the Interior. But in the media known as Stinky. I mean, that's. (laughs) What's even dumber about this? (laughs) Not my words. That's. That's but a, but they, they're trying to make it to where it's not necessarily the deep water, which was what Deepwater Horizon was. No, no, no. These are closer inland because yeah. they think for some reason that's safer. Now, could you imagine the if beach. we had the BP oil spill, but it was you know, 10 miles beach. out yeah. from shore? Th- this whole area would still be covered in oil, but they think it's smarter because it's not as deep. Yeah, their argument is we have less risk if is the, the shallower we go. But if you've ever been to Pensacola or ever been to resort beach area and you understand that you can drive a couple of miles and see these oil derricks out there, yeah. you understand what the risk really is. It puts this community under huge risk. Tourism is the only way that we have to survive in this community. And there's a lot of communities around the country. Typically what right. you'll see is you'll see these beach communities also, that you'll see military involved, you know, there'll be a military bases they typically like to operate out of an area like this and resorts. You take the resort part of it away and it's Katie by the door. Sad part is this environmental lawsuit, they're going to lose. They always lose, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I agree. It's a very tough road. Thank you for bringing it, though. I mean, you yeah, know, you got to try.